Hi, this is Apostle Anarchy Israel from the Line of Judah Prophetic Ministry here in Florida. I am just here to encourage and exalt someone who is feeling broken, despondent, cheated, rejected, refused, denied, delayed. That this is not the end. All of those signs are signals that you need to start looking in another direction. The Lord has sent me here this afternoon to encourage and to exalt you that not because you were delayed, denied, rejected, or even ostracized, criticized, characterized by those you love mean that something is wrong with you. It's never really about what you did or what you didn't do. It's about who you are and what you're carrying. Each one of us here is a star and we were created to shine. All those things that I just disclosed, those are star killers. They delay manifestation of destiny. They delay the fulfillment of that which God mandated you here in the earth realm to accomplish. So cheer up, it's not the end. But what do you do when you really know that you are called for this? But there are boulders and barriers and sad traps and pitfalls and haters and those who just want you to, to die. Well, we can look at a biblical analogy in the life of Prophet Joseph. God is so meticulous in his, his ways that even when we are being pursued by those who we love or think, those who we think have our backs, that God will use the anger, the hatred, the, 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 the sabotage from our saboteurs to use it to build us. Joseph's brother aided him so much that they wanted to kill him because not only was he of an excellent spirit, but his vision was so huge. Huh? Every day Joseph will talk about a dream that he has. Uh -huh. And God is so faithful that though his brothers planned to kill him, God could not allow the prophetic mandate for Joseph's life to be altered by mere mortals. Our God is greater than that. Yes, prophetess, I hear you. But that is for Joseph. But this is my story. The same God of Joseph is our God. And he will make all things, everything, the good, the bad, the plans to kill you, the plans to bewitch you, the plans to see you cry, to see you fail. Those are the characteristic and trait of the children of Lucifer. Mm. And even if Lucifer has walked into the, the, the lives of your your loved one or your 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 friends, God will show bring them to the point that they will repent. They will see that everything they have done to kill you, to devalue you, to sabotage you, it is still being used as an instrument of elevation. God used that to cultivate you and to develop you into this marvelous masterpiece. I am a living testimony. I've had people talk down on me, call me crazy, say all sort of stuff. And I just use it by the grace of God as a tool to show them that I'm never what you say and only what God says concerning me shall come to fruition. Who are you, great mountain speaking negativity in my destiny? You do not have the final say. It is God who has spoken me into existence and his word is what is reforming and transforming me into this ridiculous, marvelous woman. Uh, so what I will tell you to do in the midst of your aider is to use whatever they're saying as constructive criticism. Mm, they say that you should use that, that as a prior point. They say you're no good, use it as a prior point. They say you will never amount to nothing, use it as a prior point. Oh Lord, Jeremiah said in Jeremiah chapter 17, Lord, behold, they are threatening. Ah, that was a prior point. The threats that they were issuing at Jeremiah, he used it as a prior point. Never give in to your haters.
Because as soon as they conquer you with their venom, they move to the next one. But stay sober and stay resolute. Ask the Lord to endow you with an indomitable spirit of courage and faith. That you will even look at your enemies and say, I know who you are. But thank God for your sake that my God will manifest who I am in him. I hope this few words encourages you. <laughs> Let us pray. Yeshua Messiah to the King Immortal Invisible. To the ever wise God be glory, honor, dominion, and praise. Father, through you, we are anticipating a great combat. Because through you, we run through our troops and leap over our walls. It is you that gird us with strength to the battle. You have made our feet like iron's feet. We thank you according to Isaiah 54, verse 17, that no weapons form against us shall prosper. That is your word. And your word is, re is so profound your word is real your word can never return unto you void it must accomplish that which it was sent for it and god whether the weapon is sickness untimely death haters witchcraft voodoo whatever they are doing those weapon must have a collision with the rock of gibraltar for you said it shall not prosper we are standing synchronizing our fate with what you have decreed because you're not a man that you should lie. You will reform it. You will alter the word. You will mock them in their own act of mischief. You will turn it back upon the head of those that have constructed any diabolical plan upon the life of your children. For those that are discouraged, for those that are, are, are sabotaged in their, in their part of destiny, I pray that you will call the saboteurs to have a VIP seat for the next level of those that you're getting ready to promote let they bring them into an audience where they will have a, a very close seat a very up purse up close and personal seat when they will begin to see the elevation see the acceleration see the promotion as you did for joseph as you did for esther nehemiah and all the mighty men and women of god that you endowed with the power to work in the midst of their enemy so that even their enemy will be confounded and confused and even confirm conform and, and turn to god by means of your hands up and us lay your mighty prophetic hands up and us and never leave us holy spirit until you have accomplished all that you have set forth to do in the prophetic name of yeshua amashiah thank you abba father amen god bless you shalom